सरस्वती शिशुकुंज भगवाला बोरसद इंग्लिश मीडियम स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड सेमेस्टर टू यूनिट टेस्ट टू रिविजन वीडियो दिस इज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड ए एंड बी बोथ ओके सो लेट्स सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ए फर्स्ट आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन वन सेंटेंस सिक्स मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इट इज सी फर्स्ट वन what is use of odometer right i hope you have seen odometer that is on your vehicles and just in a side of a meter which show you speed right in a side of that there is a odometer which shows you distance so how will write the answer see here an odometer is used for measuring distance right traveled by a vehicle okay name any two effect of electric current so there are two effects which is magnetic effect and other one is heating effect of electric current this is direct answer you can write heating effect of electric current and magnetic effect of electric current see number 3 when an object is said to be in the motion so if position of an object changes with respect to uh, time and the point right fixed point right two words are here see time and fixed point right so that object is said to be in the motion okay like imagine that here there is a point and object right or we can say it is its place and after some period of time my object travel up to here so this is change of the motion or state of the motion is change right okay let's see number fourth question when it is said that one oscillation of pendulum is completed when we can say that one oscillation of the pendulum is completed so let's see here that this is my pendulum at o position right this is its position o and it travel up to here at some position which is a right and then it come back again and then again here it goes this is my position b and then again it comes here at o right so from here from o to a and then a to b and then again to o right again let me tell you that see this is pendulum from o it moves to a from a it moves to here b o to a then to b then again to o so that is its one oscillation but how we will write here see the pendulum is said to have complete one oscillation when its bob right its bob starting from its mean position that is o move to extreme position that is a to another extreme position b and back to o right so that is the one complete oscillation okay now let's see what is quartz clocks of in quartz clocks there are many cells which is used so clock or watches which can have an electric circuit with one or more cell electric circuit with one or more cell it is known as quartz clock see number 6 what is an independent variable independent means which is which does not depends on any so that is independent variable how will write see here the variable which increases or decreases freely and does not depend on any other variable is called as independent variable okay see number 7 where is the well known sun dial situated in india so it is in delhi but what is the exact place that is jantar mantar right the well known sun dial is situated at jantar mantar delhi one day means how many seconds so as we all know that one day means 20 24 hours in one hour how many seconds 3 sorry 3000 and 600 seconds so we need to multiply 24 by 3600 right and this 3600 seconds that you are going to get right so see here 24 multiply by 3600 so what will be our answer 86400 seconds right it is in one day okay now what is battery so you know cell right this is symbol of cell right this is symbol of cell and if you know what is symbol of battery what is the symbol of battery so here and again 
so this it means this is many cells are connected in the battery in simple meaning we can say there are many cells connected in the battery how will write proper combination of two or more cells proper combination of two or more cells is called battery right what is open circuit what is open circuit when switch is off when switch is off that is called open circuit right why it is open look here if this is your circuit right here there is cell and here it is like bulb and if your switch is here here is your switch right here is your switch so this is open circuit and here it is off switch is off right but if you want to know the close the close one right this is open now if we talk about close one so this is your close circuit now right now switch is on right switch is on open means look this whole path is open from here so that is why open circuit and here it is closed right it is closed so that is why it is closed circuit okay now see answer here when the electric switch is off the circuit does not complete the circuit is not complete because switch is off and that is why such a circuit is known as open circuit let's see next question what is an electrical generator electrical generator what it do so mechanical energy to electrical energy it converts mechanical to electrical so that is a electric journal uh, gen generator right so let's see answer here electric generator is a device transforming mechanical to electrical energy right it converts it transform right let's see 12 number to which scientist the credit of inventing electric bulb goes so which scientist invented this so as we all know that is thomas alva edison right the credit inventing electric bulb goes to thomas alva edison see number 13 which type of wire is used in the fuse there is a special type of wire which is alloy of there are two metals see here which is alloy of tin and lead which is used in the fuse a piece of a wire which is of a special type of material that is alloy of tin and lead okay now let's see next question write main parts of electric bulb sorry write main parts of electric bell now in bell there is a gong right then hammer contact screw soft iron strip electromagnet and battery these are the main parts right any four if uh, you know if we, if there is a question to write any four so any four from this you can write okay let's see 15 number question what is the nature of image formed by a plane mirror mirror so from plane mirror there will be always erect and a virtual image will form always erect and virtual image will form from the plane mirror okay now this one is important which type of image is formed by concave mirror right so concave mirror we are talking about not convex so concave mirror gives uh, sometime real and sometime virtual image when it gives a real image it is inverted and when it gives virtual image it is erect when object is closer to the mirror it gives virtual image right which is erect and when the object is at some distance so it gives real image which is inverted see here the image which is formed by concave mirror can be inverted or real and real uh, sorry inverted or erect and real or virtual now see here when object is near it gives you erect and virtual and when object is at some distance inverted and real image now size of that image is depends on the object uh, you know the distance between object and mirror so this was your one sentence question answer again 7 18 17 18 and 19 is remains here what is the nature of position of image which is formed by convex mirror what is nature and position of the image so how we'll write the answer see the nature of image which is formed by a convex mirror is always virtual erect and smaller than the size of the object always smaller right the image is formed behind the mirror not on the screen we cannot get that thing on the screen it always formed behind the mirror it is erect and smaller than the object okay what is convex lens so if you know this is your convex lens right 
which is thick from middle right okay concave this one the next question is about concave so let me show you this is concave this is q so that is by concave mirror okay now let's see how we'll write the answer so the lens which is thick in the middle and thin from the edges right thin from the edges see again figure this is of convex this is of convex mirror right which is thick from middle and thin from edges right it is known as convex lens if you talk about concave lens so which is thin from the middle right which is thin from the middle see here image okay this this side is thick and here it is thin from the middle this part is thin so that is known as concave lens right okay now let's go ahead now answer the following questions in short any five it is of 10 marks question so first question when there was no provision of a clock right the clocks were not there at that time how our ancestor could measure the time right ancestor means uh, those peoples who were you know living first at that time there was no socialization like this so how they were measuring the time right so uh, you know they observe that many event many natural event you know occurs in the same period of time after the same duration of the time like you know one day after the another sun rises and sets right uh, some season changes after some same period of time so from that thing they measure now how will we write the answer see here so our ancestors in old times could tell approximate time not accurate but it is written approximate time of the day by just looking the shadow they are observing shadow also right they notice that many events in nature repeat themselves after the definite interval of time as if we take example that the time between one sunrise and the next sunrise was called one day one sunrise to next sunrise right okay a year which is fixed it has time taken by the earth to complete the one revolution right one revolution that is your one year this is how the ancestors used to measure the time these are some examples by which they used to measure the time let's see next question that is a runner covered the distance of 100 meters in 10 seconds in running now 10 meter per second it's uh, you know distance or we can say speed it is 10 meter per second right now average if you want to find out how we'll find out so look this one it's detail but you just focus here what you have to do 10 multiply by 3600 by 3600 seconds no okay and 1000 so this one you have to do now this two zeros from it get cancelled see here again let me write it for you so two zeros will get cancelled from here okay so what is remain here this zero also get cancelled what is remain 36 so 36 kilometer per hour it becomes your answer that is average speed of that runner okay now let's see next question here give difference between uniform motion and non-uniform motion so we have to write points for that first one if object is moving along a straight line object moves along the straight line so with a constant speed with a constant speed then the motion of an object is called uniform the speed should be constant and along the straight line that is uniform right motion now non-uniform motion non-uniform motion means the speed of an object along a straight line keeps changing means speed is changing here speed is fixed constant speed and here speed is keeps changing so there is non-uniform motion now second one in this type of motion the average speed remains as the actual speed the average speed is same as the actual speed and if you talk about here non-uniform motion the speed is different than the actual the average speed is different than the actual speed number three for this type of motion the graph of distance 
you can get its straight line but if you draw the graph of non-uniform motion you cannot get the straight line first one let's revise it quickly constant speed and speed changing right speed changes in non-uniform here average speed and actual speed are same but here average speed and actual speed are different here you can get a straight line in the graph here you cannot get the straight line in the graph okay now let's see for the next question what is the use of fuse in an electric circuit I explain briefly here you have to write about fuse right so an electric fuse is a safety device first of all what is fuse it is a safety device it keeps your house safe okay which prevents probably a fire or damage in electric appliances right there are many electrical appliances fridge and refrigerator and you know uh, washing machine and many other so it keeps those uh, appliances safe from heavy current okay it consists of a wire made up of a special material right as we have seen that is special material is of alloy of uh, tin and lead which quickly melts and breaks when the excess amount of current passes through the wire when more current will pass from the wire excess amount of current so that wire will melt right and when the current flowing through the exit from the safe limit the fuse blows off means that wire will melt and and that is why your circuit of the house right it becomes open and now no more any current can pass through uh, that wires right and it will save all the appliances right now because of the heat which is generated right because of that the fuse wire melts right and that is why it breaks the circuit and all the appliances of your house becomes remains safe okay now let's go for the next question here when does the fuse cap in the electric circuit get blown off what happens when the fuse blows off what happens when fuse blows off so see here the fuse wire is made from a special type of material again look this sentence you have to keep in your mind it comes more than two times when the current flowing through the circuit exceed the safety limit or safe limit means current get more the fuse blows off and breaks down the circuit that is called as the fuse blows off or fuse is off fuse gets off now the second question what happens when fuse blows off what happens right so see here answer due to fuse off here this one due to fuse off the electric current in the electric circuit stops flowing the current will not flow so the electric devices stop working right thus the electric device can you know connected with the electric circuit is saved from the damage now same information which is written here we already discussed in the previous one but don't mix that up right the ways of writing the formation of the sentence is different but both you know thing is same here we are explaining about the fuse blows off right in that we are uh, writing the short knot right so don't get mixed up right let's see the next question now state the use of electromagnet when means where we can use the electromagnet so there are many uses see here as an electromagnet in the electric bell in device like telegraph right in uh, crane to lift heavy loads of iron used to separate magnetic materials like iron from junk doctors also use tiny electromagnets you know to take out a small piece of iron if it by mistake if it falls in your eye right accidentally if it falls so this kind of uh, places are there which you know these people use electromagnet okay let's see the next question right short knot on sh uh, storage battery storage battery means there are many cells and where it is used and why it is used those things we have to write here see the battery is used in tractor and trucks is called storage battery now the storage batteries are used when higher current is required when more current is required because we are you know connecting more cells in the batteries that is known as uh, battery right in that we store the current right okay so the storage batteries are there is advantage of it that they can be recharged again we can recharge this storage batteries and this batteries is 
not be replaced quickly frequently there is no need to replace it we just need to recharge it and we can use it again use of the storage battery it is written here see storage batteries are used in motor cars railway uh, and then buses and trucks right okay now let's see next question here state uses of concave mirror and state uses of convex mirror so concave mirror you know there are many uses of concave mirrors like dentist also used to see your tooth right and uh, you know as a reflector in uh, search light in your motor vehicles headlights right okay so let's see so this concave mirrors are used as a reflector in a headlights of scooter car and railway engines it also used in search light dentist use this concave mirror to see an enlarged image of your teeth while examining the teeth doctors use this concave mirror for examine even eye ear nose and throat they are also used as shaving and makeup mirrors because uh, they are you know getting the large image to get the large image okay now let's see about convex mirrors where we can use this where it is used so they are used as rear view mirror in a side glass as a side glass of your vehicle motorbike or car they are used as a staircase mirrors and a double decker buses right double decker buses are there when any person is going down or coming up when they need to see back that who is coming behind me so it is also used in that places in staircase okay now let's see next question state the uses of con convex lens so this convex lens are used in a many areas like if we talk about you know mag as a uh, magnifying glass means magnifying glass itself is a convex lens binoculars in uh, microscopes right in spectacles it is used right so these are uses now how will write the answers here so convex lens is used as magnifying glass in hand, hand lenses uh, even in microscope so convex lens is used in telescope binoculars to see some distance objects right they are used in spectacles too but far sightedness means nearby objects a person who is not able to see nearby objects so in that uh, specs they are using this convex lens okay see 11 number explain in short phenomenon of rainbow so rainbow as we all know you know in the monsoon season it is you know uh, common you are able to see it during the monsoon season so uh, when this rainbow forms in the morning so it forms in the west direction and in the evening it forms in the east direction so about that colors and all the information we have to write here how we'll write here see generally after rain in the morning and in the evening rainbow appears in the sky it appears as a large arc arc means it appears like this no so it is called a large arc and between this there are different colors so that is why it is known as arc right it is called arc in the sky having many colors it is a natural phenomenon that ref that you know refraction and the dispersion of light the main purpose is this two words refraction and dispersion of light and due to this the sunlight when falling on the group of water when sunlight fall falling on the group of water droplets or drop floating in the sky right and that is why the seven colors disperse and forms rainbow and the colors are red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet these are the name red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet so main thing is here refraction sorry reflection and dispersion of light okay now let's see next question here what is the closed circuit electric circuit explain it closed electric circuit okay so when the electric switch is on when the electric switch is on the circuit forms uh, you know positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the battery becomes complete such a circuit is cl called closed circuit in this circuit electric current flows through every part of the circuit okay so see here as i told you know in previous uh, one question i explained what is closed circuit what is uh, open circuit so let me draw here 
so like imagine this is a battery right here is my bulb right and here is a switch so right now it is open right right now it is open but now this is close open because look this wires are not connected no that is why it is open look and now if i'll do this if i'll turn this switch on so it is closed circuit now right okay so let's go for next question that is what is an overloading overloading i hope you heard this word and what harm does it causes overloading means you know in your one plug you know there are many plugs in a house but if you are connecting more than one appliance in one plug so it causes overloading in simple language right so what happens overloading you are connecting more appliances in one plug so that all appliances need more current so more current will flow from the single wire right if more current means more heat so that can be fire in your home right so that is overloading so how will write here when many electric devices are connected to a single socket of electricity so excessive electric current flows right excessive electric current flows because all appliances require some amount of electric current right so when this flows so it flows through a conducting wire and when this electric current exceed the strength of the conducting wire what will happen the conducting wire overheated the wire will get heat and such a situation is called as overloading right when the heat get generated when you are applying when you are connecting more appliances so there will be more heat generate okay now what is the problem how it harm for harmful so due to overloading sometime wire gets burned and it catches the fire right it catches the fire hence we use 15 ampere efficiency of a device drawing excessive electric current like ac and refrigerator so in ac and refrigerator right uh, we are using 15 ampere wire efficiency right because it it can handle more uh, overload right it can handle the overload that is why okay uh, now see let's question next question is here look interesting so much interesting see the electric bulb which is here in the circuit uh, which is in the figure right does not glow the bulb which is here this bulb does not glow so explain and make some necessary changes right try to find out what is the problem here see everything carefully right if you know the circuit there should be one negative and one positive terminal right which should be connected with the wires here so is it like that no here two positives are here and two negative negatives are outside right that is the problem now how we will explain see here so the connection of two cell is not proper in the given circuit positive terminals of two cells are directly connected here in the question positive terminals are directly connected right but now what we'll do for completing the circuit what we have to do the negative terminal of one cell must be directly connected to the positive the negative should be directly connected to the positive here negative is directly connected to the positive positive is here negative is here right this is the proper connection you have to write here when this question is asked in the exam and you need to draw this circuit as the answer okay let's see next question here explain about the image formed by convex mirror convex mirror okay so it is always erect and always virtual okay let's see answer here so the nature of image formed by convex mirror is always virtual and erect and smaller than the object size which is placed at some distance right when objects moves very closer to the convex mirror the size of image get increased but it doesn't becomes more than the original size of the object right it remains smaller than the size of the object okay now see next one is a example it's a sum see 16 number a scooter driver moves with the speed of 30 km per hour for 10 minutes what is the distance he might have covered the distance we have to find so as we all know just we have to 
अब नो व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला स्पीड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टाइम राइट स्पीड यू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टाइम व्हिच इज गिवन यू ओके सो व्हाट इज द थिंग 30 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 10 अपॉन 60 बिकॉज़ इट इज गिवन इन मिनट वी नीड इट इन आवर्स ओके सो इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय 60 सो हियर व्हाट विल डू 0 0 गेट कैंसिल 6 5 जा 30 राइट सो व्हाट इज आवर आंसर 5 ओके लेट्स सी हाउ विल राइट हियर सो डिस्टेंस कवर्ड इट इज स्पीड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टाइम राइट एंड इज इक्वल टू 30 किलोमीटर पर आवर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 10 अपॉन 60 एंड आंसर इज 5 किलोमीटर ओके नाउ लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर ओके सो व्हाट वी आर फाइंडिंग हियर डिस्टेंस कवर्ड सो 45 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 20 in the denominator 60 if you multiply this to what you will get 45 to the 91 more 0 for 20 so denominator here it will be 60 right this 0 get cancelled what remain 90 upon 6 so let me write here uh, look here you can see uh, answer is 15 means 90 if you divide it by 6 so this will be your answer as we all know that 15 multiply by 6 you can get 90 right 15 multiplied by 6 is 96 that is why your answer is 15 kilometers see the next one here 60 is your speed 60 km per hour and minute is 30 what is that a train moves with the speed of 60 km per hour in 30 minutes so distance we have to find so multiplication of speed and uh, sorry multiplication of uh, yes speed and the time here it is divided by 60 again so easily you can get this cancel 60 60 your final answer is 30 so how you will write see here distance covered is equal to speed multiplied by time 60 km per hour multiplied by 30 upon 60 60 60 get cancel 30 km is covered distance okay so this was your short question answers even one sentence question answers i hope you understand if you have any question you can ask me during the live class thank you so much